Right then guys, what we're now going to do is fit our solar panels. We've got two 160 watt solar panels, they are 670mm wide, so 67 centimetres. Back them up next to each other gives us 134, so 1.34 metres of 1340 millimetres. Um, the roof rails on this van are the inside edges where the brackets are essentially going to sit. So once these are in, this part here, this edge, is 1,400, so 1 1.4 metres. Now that gives us a gap that we need to fill of 60 mil, 6 centimetres. So what I found, right, is an old spirit level in the uh, in the shed, and it's exactly 60 mil wide. So we're going to use that with a bit of a uh, bit of improvisation to make up a spacer. So check this. <laughs> So as we can see, this has gone off nice and hard now. It's absolutely rock solid, this stuff. It's brilliant. It's, uh, it's, if I just give it a little tap with the chisel, you can see it's made almost like a, like, you know, like it's like metal itself. With this stuff, once it's dried, it can be drilled, it can be sanded, grinded, screwed into, painted, you name it. It's, it's awesome. It really is good stuff. So not only that, but it's obviously going to add some structural integrity to this piece of alley as well. So what we've ended up with is a very rudimentary piece of uh, alley pop section. Um, we clean it up, we get it painted, get it smoothed out and everything, uh, get it painted with some rustling, I think that's what it's called, um, and, and then we have an improvised painting. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our improvised X spirit level turn spacers, just pop them between the panels, like that, there's already one at that end, and we'll put this one that we kept the quirk of the bubble in the middle because I quite like that. We'll pop that in the middle too. And if we just push them all together, try and get them as square as possible. I'll come around this side and do it. I'll push them all into each other. And nice and flat there, I think. And the magic number we're looking for is bang on 1.4 meters or 1,400 mil. If we bring it here, exactly, laser line, 1.4 or 1400 mil. So these are our channels we're talking about guys there, as I say 30 mil wide and approximately between this edge, this sort of innermost edge, the innermost edge on the other one, 1.4 meters or 1400 mil uh, wide. So we'll fill this with mastic, um, put these brackets in the middle, bolt them down with some big M8 bolts and some big square washers on the inside, seal that, seal the holes with a load of mastic also, so we'll just drill straight through, and the panels will then bolt onto this edge and sit between themselves with, uh, with, with the improvised spirit level space. <laughs> Just offered up the bracket to the solar panel and we can see it fits lovely and flush with what will be the top of the panel once mounted and gives a nice 10 mil perfect amount of clearance for when it sits in the runner on top of the van to have it not exactly flush with the roof but just you know a couple of mil higher. So we've put the solar panel on the roof just to see how these brackets have come and they're, they're actually really really good they sit perfectly in the channel and they lift the solar panel up just enough for it to not be sat on the top of the roof, but give a little bit of a, a clearance between the panel and the roof. If I pull the camera over here, I'll show you what I mean. So like that, they're not exactly sat on the roof, but it's not lifted up really, really high either. So it gives it a good amount of clearance, but not so much. So you're getting a bit of drag and you know, a load of wind noise. Um, so considering these were made up from a few bits of scrap metal we found knock knocking about in the shed, um, and an old spirit level to act as a 60 mil spacer between the two, I really could not be happy with those, they're absolutely laser and spot on. So we've gone through and drilled the bra through the brackets into the roof, we've put our spacer in place first to stop any compression between these two parts. Once we've drilled the holes we've then popped a bolt in each hole to hold it in place and keep the whole, the whole panel system square whilst we then move on to the next one and drill the next one. We then, as that's been drilled, we then put some bolts into that also and just done the same thing as we go around the entire panel. We've cleaned it all up, got all the mastic on there, got all the filings off, got the mastic on there. Um, and yeah, just ready to lift it in place now. We've had to cut down a couple of the bolts because they're slightly long 
because they end up coming underneath one of the one of the roof joists, sort of in between that. So we've had to cut cut the two rearmost bolts down a bit. That's not an issue at all. Um, so yeah, now it's just a case of lifting the panel on, getting it set nice on this mastic, um, and getting it bolted up. So as we're doing this bolt, these bolts up, we've obviously on the inside has reversed what's on the outside. So we've got a penny washer, split spring washer, and then a nylock bolt. What we're doing is just putting a nice bead of mastic, in this case we're using Seeker EBT, um, around there. So as this does up, it all squidges out and makes a nice watertight seal inside as well as what we've already done outside on the roof. Um, we'll then cut the excess of the bolts off and there are saying pointing but we're just sort of rubbing it in so it's nice and sealed around all the all the uh, uh, sort of cracks if you like between the washers and and the nylock nut um, and yeah just sort of pointing it in with the finger it's you know it looks a mess you're never going to see it we'll cut the excess of the bolt off and that's nice and sealed and watertight then on both sides <laughs> 